I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about U substitution. In problem number 41, we'd like to use substitution to integrate uh, the definite integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine squared theta cosine theta d theta. So the first question you might have here is, well, what do we substitute for? And remember, one of the tricks is typically you're going to substitute for something that is a function within a function. So cosine is not a function within a function, but sine of theta is because sine of theta gets squared. So the maybe the wise choice here would be to substitute for sine of theta don't substitute for cosine of theta. Okay, so I'm going to use u is equal to sine of theta. And we notice that if u is sine of theta, then what is du? It would be cosine of theta d theta, which is perfect because in this problem I have a cosine of theta d theta. Now I can make a nice substitution, and I get the integral of, well, sine is u. So I just get u squared, because I have sine of theta squared, so u squared, and cosine theta d theta, cosine theta d theta is all du. So I'm halfway there. I still need limits of integration. I changed from theta world into u world, and so I need to change my limits of integration. What should they be? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, theta started at 0. So what does u start at? If theta is 0, then I get sine of 0, and sine of 0 is 0. So this thing starts at 0, and where does it end? at pi over 2. Theta is pi over 2. Well, if theta is pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1. So I integrate this from 0 to 1. So now I've taken something that looks quite complicated here and reduced it down to something that is relatively simple. And that's the whole idea behind substitution. So let's take an antiderivative here. The antiderivative of u squared is u cubed divided by 3, but we want to evaluate that from 0 to 1. So let's do that. I plug in 1, and I get 1 cubed over 3, 1 cubed over 3, minus, plug in 0, I get 0 cubed over 3, or just 1 third minus 0, 1 third minus 0 which is one-third, and we have our antiderivative. 